Here's a little uh, inside peek in the uh, 1960s high bounce Moon Scout toy. Maybe more familiar at the front. And I'm trying to shoot this by myself, so it's going to be a little bit hard keeping things in frame and showing you what I want to show. But uh, a couple of the unique features, um, lots of lots of battery operated toys would have two button remotes where there's one motor but two buttons and basically by reversing the direction of the motor uh, through different means they shift gears inside the gearbox perform different functions you know a, a very um, a, a more common version of this would be like Mr. Mercury where one motor does walking and bending another motor makes the arms raise and lower or open and close and it does it by shifting a spur gear around the pinion gear left or right. This particular toy does it in a, a very unique way. This is the motor down here. Here's your first gear, your spur gear. And over on this end over here, there's a worm gear, which drives another gear. It's the vertical shaft that goes through gears for spinning the top. But what's interesting about it is this worm gear is going to want to crawl one way or the other depending on which way it's turning and so they purposely built in uh, slack on this shaft and if you look on the inside I don't know if it'll show up in the camera but you can see that little brass gear moving back and forth depending on whether this gear is out or in well that's what's shifting when it's pushed in that brass gear makes contact with other gears in the back for operating the ball shooting and door opening mechanics and when it's pulled out it uh, interfaces with the gears which have to do with the walking and it's uh, what moves it again is just the fact the worm gear which is turning so let's let's see if we can't uh, I gotta figure out a way to hold this in camera and work the remote okay so this would be uh, Well, let's go with uh, the ball shooting mode. So it's pushed in. You see the door is open. See that plunger in there going back and forth? And here you can see the mechanics that pull the plunger. Over on this side is the door opening thing, which is a, a partial gear like an all toys, where it turns till it runs out of teeth. So that's what keeps the door open. And when you go back into walk mode, um, which I'm having trouble hitting the buttons right now. Almost hit the button. So now we're in walk mode and the door is closed. And the, and the white gear is pushed all the way out. And now you'll see it shift over. And this linkage up here. See that linkage move? Now the door is closed. Now the door is open. And you can see the lever which fires the ball. So a very ingenious way of uh, shifting the gears that I hadn't seen uh, done before. Of course up on top of the head there's the uh, it's a rather standard configuration of you have a conductor here and you have a, a conductor on the inside this shaft being one of the ground and the other one there's a little wiper which I don't think the camera's going to be able to see that uh, rubs against this so when you push it in it'll make the contact to light the lights basically it's a commentator so there you have your inside look on the high balance moon scout and how the shooting uh, ball mechanism works and how uh, how they do the gear shifting pretty cool